body so damn sweet, I think about you all day. Yeah. I look for love and my body takes me to your space. Takes me down your way. I don't think that's a coincidence, oh no. Baby, I think that's a sign. Baby, I think that's a Both of our souls in it twice. What's up, JK Nation? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new to the channel, I'm Justice. And I'm Kayla. And in today's video, we have some special guests. Yes. It's good. I'm not. You guys already know. No. <laughs> just in case we're before. Yeah, you guys already know them, but I mean, it's better if they introduce themselves just in case. Mm -hmm. But in today's video, we're going to be doing a truth or drink. Yes. Yeah, so we asked on our Instagram stories for you guys to ask some questions. So we're going to see if we want to answer those. Yeah, we won't have I'm to nervous. see. Wait, let's take our. Um, oh, yeah, this is like a little. I need Wait, lime. Yeah, I need a lime. Are you these from your are these from your tree? tree? Yes. These are from my tree outside. So we got the Don Julio. Hey babe, you cut hey, these. You need to bring me some lime. Uh toast to a good video and a good night. Good night. Cheers. Are y'all don't put your glasses down? Man, I need somebody to do a shot count in the comments below. Do a shot count. Ooh. For all of us, so you can know who's the drunkest. Make sure <laughs> you keep tabs up. Who do you think's gonna get drunk more? We should have done that TikTok. Remember? Is oh yeah, we that? should. Yeah. Do it. If your significant other, this is gonna be a juicy, but we gotta start it off right. You feel me? Okay. If your significant other didn't want kids, would you stay with them? No. 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 I'm sorry, I don't know why that's a problem for me. Yeah, I feel like that's actually a big reason of div for divorce. Really? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. A lot of people divorce over that. Mm -hmm. okay. If our future's on the line, then... There's no point. Yeah. What about Facts. you? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Definitely not. You'll drink. You're not gonna drink. Okay, okay. But, but what about, let's say you guys both get married and you both decided you don't want to have kids and then a few years into the marriage, the other person switches up and they're like, I want to have kids. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that's how me and Kayla are. We'd be like, we want kids, we don't want kids. No, but like... We're you would have never say you don't no, want kids. No, but what? she's not talking about like in this moment. Oh, you mean she's like She's talking overall? about in general. Oh, like, no, no, no. Have y'all ever had a one night stand? Do I go first or who goes first? We Is all. Go answer first? What well, sucks yeah. is I feel like if you take the shot, it's automatically like you did. So go ahead and take that shot. I would just say I have. I have. <laughs> have I? I have, yes, I have. Just, I think y'all taking a shot. We don't need to take a shot unless you don't want to uh, say it. Oh, I was like, let's take a shot. <laughs> should, we, should we change the rules that way? If we all did it, should we take a shot? Yeah, if we all, oh. that's a good one. Like, if we all did something, we take a here. shot. Cord up. That's oh, a good one. shit. All right, let me start with the ladies. I'll start. <laughs> what a gentleman. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the... Oh. Right there, right there. Right. Oh, dude. Ooh, babe, ooh. this is too big. I low key gave you a lot, babe. I'm sorry. I can't do this in one go. Okay. I kind of did the same. I'm sorry. Ooh. Okay, so is this like supposed to stop at a certain point? Like right here? Like, I would do like that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's just. Sorry. Oh, okay, you got it, This is the quickest I've Cheers. ever done. Cheers. Wait, you're supposed to do this? Mm -hmm. I don't know. He says, I don't know. So you tap it down for good luck. Hey, isn't it smooth, though? Mm -hmm. It is pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. Ooh, this one's juicy. <laughs> What's one thing you miss about your recent ex? What? How do you answer that? Yeah. You either answer or you take a shot. Oh, okay. Do I go first? What's one thing you miss about your ex? Yeah. That you ain't getting now. So if I don't want to answer it, I take a shot? Yes. Or you just say like, I don't <laughs> your miss, honest opinion. I don't miss anything, really. I'm, I'm happy. Okay, I didn't really have like exes. The longest I've been with a guy before Mel was like three months. I think I miss like the thrill of like going on a first date or like, you know, when you first start talking to a guy. It's not really missing like something my ex did, but I kind of miss that. that you first, know what that I mean? That first feeling. Mm -hmm. Like having butterflies and oh, like yeah, wondering like if, someone, if that like other person like fucks with you like that. Mm. And like, oh, yeah, yeah. I just kind of miss that feeling. Because mm. you like, but now I love you. Yeah, like you already know. Like, <laughs> I get what you're saying. Yeah. What about you, baby? Uh, I don't miss anything. About my ex at all? Yeah, me. I don't know. Everything was bad. <laughs> that's how bad. I feel. Like. Yeah. But the thrill, like, like that feeling of like butterflies, I feel yeah, like yeah. butterflies. That's hard to recreate sometimes. Yeah. I try some. I, yeah, but it's kind of like a 
a switch off because instead of the butterflies, you're getting like that security and knowing someone's yeah, like dad yeah, for you yeah, and I'd someone that, loyal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd rather that over mm-hmm. the butterflies, which are yeah, very yeah. temporary. There's not really anything I can say that I miss, but like. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, answer honestly, babe. I don't care. No, that's my honest answer. I mean, my like I. Like I, I'd say, like Nas knows my ex and I are cool, so I don't want to say that in a way that like there's nothing like cool about her because we had good times. But like I'm happy with where I'm at in my current situation. So facts. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I got one already. Oh shoot. Have you ever complained to your family about your significant other? Um. Yes. <laughs> I think more of his family than my family. Yeah. Like you complain to his family about him? Like maybe like his sister, but like I feel like my mom, like I don't, like my parents, I don't talk to them about that kind of stuff. I feel you. Yeah, not my parents, but like having a sibling so close, like my sister, I have definitely confided in her. Yeah, see, that's, like I don't that's, have a sister. Yeah, that's not like my yeah. brother. I don't really like. like yeah, I like, know. Caleb, relax. Like, yeah, I feel I like girls need a bit. They do, yeah. like, but I don't recommend it. Not that like yeah, this you is You don't like, recommend girls being? No, to family. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, to family. Because I could just go to Yasmin every single time Mel does something wrong and never talk about the good things and she's just gonna have this like bad idea of Mel in her head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I'll forgive Mel, but she's just gonna and, think of all the bad things. Yeah. Even, even still, I don't think it's good to go to people for advice in your relationship. In because general, facts. They are not in your relationship. They don't know what you're going through. They don't know your significant other, like the way that you know them. So they're giving you mm-hmm. advice on what they would do in a situation that they're not in so and mel's mom even told me herself like as a married woman you don't go to a girl because they're gonna try to break y'all apart yeah who who doesn't even have a boyfriend or even like being a married woman is different yeah once you're once you're married you you can't go to your single friends for advice like there's things that once you become married that single people just can't relate to and not to say that like once you're married on a higher level like oh we're married (laughs) you can't relate to our problems but it's just like we're literally like, if we wanted to break up, we would have to sign <laughs> papers and do all this. We can't just say, hey, here's your box of stuff back. I don't want to talk to you again. Like, Yeah, it's exactly. definitely more of a commitment when you're married than just dating, you know? Tell us your most embarrassing drunk story or take a shot. So I'll go first. <laughs> you know you got 50, so I'm just going to go ahead and Shut go up. first. Is that shit No, you go first. Okay. Go first. Um, all right, so my most embarrassing drunk story. What happened? I do. What did you do? I feel like you've never really done that. Like that. I think like I think what happened was I got drunk at a party and I was leaving and I walked into fireworks. <laughs> Like, people just was throwing shit, and I'm like, oh, they're just throwing trash, and it ended up being fireworks, and that was really embarrassing, because I'm in the middle of the fireworks, and that shit going off, and everybody's like, oh, shit, oh, shit, and I'm just like, like, I'm trying to play it cool, like, I'm walking, like, Denzel and shit through that moment, like, but that shit was scary as fuck, and I was so drunk on my mind, I didn't know that there was fucking fireworks. I'm like, they just threw trash out their window, and there was, like, big-ass fireworks. So that was the most embarrassing because everybody driving by like, oh shit! <laughs> like, oh my god! Yeah. Mel, Mel said he had a embarrassing story for the both of us, but I don't know the story. Well, I have one for you. Oh I god! I definitely have one for Kayla, so I'm sure you got what? it. What? Yeah, because like obviously, if it's that embarrassing, I don't remember it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really embarrassing. It's more so just funny. Like what, baby? This was like back before me and Niles were really even dating. Like this is just when we would like meet up at like a local bar and hang out and stuff like that but so we went out to like this like bar slash club like and we're like hanging out the whole night and stuff like that and uh, I remember one point she looks at me and she's like I'm about to go to the bathroom and so I was like okay cool like she was like I'll be right back I was like alright bet <laughs> so I'm standing there I'm chilling with my friends and stuff like 10 minutes go by I look I'm like I'm like where's she at like like 10 minutes go by and again like this isn't my girl like Nas isn't my girl at the time I don't even think I had her number at this time so I'm like you my number. yeah okay yeah yeah I had her number oh, yeah, I recently I, just got her like number talking but like that. I'm like I don't want to call her and like seem like I'm thirsty like that's how much she like wasn't my girl at the time like I didn't even want to call her and ask where she was at so then eventually I'm like fuck it let me just call her because I'm ready to leave the club like damn near 20 minutes went by I'm like maybe she just ain't coming back like I lost her and I call her and she's like yeah I'm at my friend's house I was like what I'm like, at your friend's house. I'm like, at your friend's house where? Like, not at the bar anymore? She's like, no, like, I, like I'm like i at my friend's house. Send me an address. She's 10 minutes away. I'm like, 
Oh, oh, you said just go to the bathroom. Like, how did you end up? She was like, I yeah, I went, she was like, I went to the bathroom and then my friend was in there and said she got an Uber home, so I just left with her. I was like, you couldn't like, let me I know? Like, Whoa. But guess what? Mel came to my friend's house. Yeah. And he I cuddled me to sleep. House. He like cuddled me to sleep and then left. Yeah. Bro, wait, you just dipped out? That's crazy. Well, you guys, I mean, That wasn't an embarrassing know. story. Well, yes, for you, it was embarrassing. That's definitely I mean, it's just, embarrassing. It's just, yeah, it was just. I just thought, I'm sorry, babe. I didn't <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry, babe. I, I remember once Mel drove me to my car after like a night out. And my car got towed, but the thing is, the same car in my parking spot was my same car model. It was oh, the exact same weird. car, but it was like a different license plate. And I was oh. so drunk that I didn't fathom that this was and not my car. back then, she had a custom license plate, so it said like Nas on her license yeah. plate. Yeah. Mm. And she like got out the car, she walked to the car, and I was looking, I'm like... I was like, wait, your license plate doesn't say Nas. And literally, as I was saying that, she like turned around. I literally like, tried getting in this, this car for like 15 car. minutes, and I was like, this is not your car. Like, to me, because it's the same make, the same color, same model. Yeah. Like, this is my car. Like, I just yeah. didn't get it. So, the next question is Would you ever want a threesome? Respectfully. Like, I don't know why I look like this. <laughs> Did you ask me that today? Huh? I told you that was one of the questions, yeah. Respectfully. But I had to ask it, because. Aww. I'm like sure. I'm not down. I look you want a shot, so I'm like, you want to take this. Yeah, I'll take a shot, but I want a threesome too. <laughs> <laughs> Say it all loud. Wait, I, but the thing is, like, I would oh, be down for one. Tiny, tiny I would. We about to get hella DMs from girls like I volunteer. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> now, if I was to have a threesome, it would be Kayla's choice. Like, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I would never. Okay. I would never come to Nas. Okay. Like, I found this perfect girl. No, no, no. Okay, for me, I feel like I wanted to be a girl. That I like, I'll never see again in my life, and then I wanted to like not know who we are. I, I just think that was a pleasure. You know? Like <laughs> yeah. obviously, it would be a great experience. yeah. I would want her to it would be like... a great experience for me. <laughs> but like, I would want I wouldn't want the girl to be like hella focused on me, like <laughs> focused on my wife. Mm. Yeah, that's why I would have. And to I just want to indulge in the experience, like. <laughs> It could really be more hey, so just me kind hey, of watching. Realistically, <laughs> I would want to have the camera and be like this. Oh my god, with the vlog camera, with I the would, mic. I would, oh I would want to create the scene. Like I want to, you know, how they like. Hey, how now you like, oh hold on, god. hold on, you over there? <laughs> I need, you to, I need you to walk through that door Bro, again. Do it again, so one more time. Exactly. Dang, man, you did her Dang. diligence. After my massage, they told me to avoid alcohol. Ooh. Get my best. Result. We call that the Ohio tap. It's smooth. I ain't gonna cap. It's smooth. So this one was, do you have any toys? If so, how many? All right, let them start first. Okay, good thing this is on your channel. I don't know if you're so PG, like on our channel. No, we don't get yellow marks. No, we got a few. You know you don't have to oh, answer. Oh, true. We have was like, don't say, don't say, don't say. Because well, I could tell she didn't really want to. So I'm like. <laughs> Okay, the thing is, I get so many like DMs and emails from sex toy brands. And you'd be like, yeah. Wanted to send me PR. And I mean, there's I just nothing, there's so nothing, wrong. There's nothing wrong with there's using them. There wrong. isn't, but I don't know. It's just like taboo. I don't know. Mel, you be going through the site like, hmm, this one might do mm. the job. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so how many do y'all have? Respectfully. We have a couple, but I only use one. I, like, I have my favorite. Because there's like, <laughs> like at the, Earlier stage in our relationship, I would go to the sex store all the time and like, oh, I got this, this, I got Yeah, this, he I tried to like spice it up, but I didn't but like it. And like, once I started to find out she only likes like the second thing I ever bought her, I'm like, I'm not buying nothing else. She was like, get off that. It's <laughs> yeah, not like, wasting my money. Like, you like, you like what you like, so. Yeah. Yeah, we have one. Yeah, we one. know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, know. we told, we told them. them. Would you hook up with your high school crush? Who's my high school crush? Uh, I don't, yeah, no. I didn't even have a high school crush. I probably would have a couple of years ago. You wouldn't know? If I wasn't in the picture? Well, it depends. Because I, I had a high school crush when I was a freshman. And she was a senior. But that was like a big, big high school crush. And then like I had crushes when I was just like in high school. Girls that were like, you know, attainable. You, I mean, you were. <laughs> yeah, my crush. But I was no. out of high school. I love that. My yeah. crush, no, I would not because my crush, I was talking to while she had a boyfriend and I already lived back. <laughs> what? You feel me? I pulled it because I was on varsity as a freshman. So, you know, it worked out. I didn't have to really try. Were you so. varsity as a freshman? Yeah. But, you know, what about you? No, I wouldn't. Yeah, no. Because I don't find that person like attractive. Yeah, they anymore. ain't weak now. 
Like, yeah. No, no, like my, my, I look back at the guy, I was like obsessed yeah, with him in high school, and I'm like, you were so lame. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. I was like head over heels for you. Yeah. Yeah. I, would, I would say for my crush on a more mental level, because she's like a mom now. Mm. She's like super into fitness. So like, you gotta show me her. Like, on a mental level, she's cool. It's like nothing that you would expect. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, smash that like button for Melon Nods. Also, go and subscribe to their channel. Mel just had a birthday and that video was lit, so go and watch that. It's still, it's, it's that still my birthday month. So. It's still it his is. birthday month. Nas planned everything. Yeah, she, she did such it an amazing so job. Fun. Hey, does not make it this yeah. And comment, comment more video ideas that you think we should do because Vlogmas is coming up, and mm. obviously we all live around each other. So if you want to see content. more video, yeah, if you want to see more videos with them, comment down below. But without further ado, we're gonna end the video right here. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, like I said, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Ooh, baby, I'm glad you're mine, cause I need you, and I'll do anything to please you. Catch me when I'm falling in love. Ooh, baby, I'm glad you're mine. Cause you're the reason my days are filled with meaning Catch me when I'm falling in love I've waited